Thank you. So, hello everyone. I'm, I'm Jonathan Shemou Lakamo Shemalawa from Aleph.im. We are not Alephium or like Aleph Zero or anything of that. We are a decentralized cloud. Think of us like a decentralized AWS. And today we will talk about the convergence of decentralized infrastructure, like decentralized cloud, and artificial intelligence, AI, LLMs, and stuff like that. Um, so, so yeah, I, um, I'm from Paris, France, um, and also Israel, and I've been working in a lot of fields before, just so like you can have a bit of background about me. I've been working uh, as a developer, IoT creator, etc., for a while. Uh, so let's start by the first subject, which is decentralized cloud. Um, so. Uh, the Lev.im project has been, fund, uh, has been created in 2019. We have had a Series A in 2021 of $11.5 million to date. And we now have a computing network of 70 plus um, dedicated core channel nodes, which are the controllers of the network, 200 plus computing resource nodes. Uh, we have big names in our ecosystem, including Ubisoft, Request Network, Synapse, Oasis, etc. And we are compatible with a bunch of blockchains. Um, so, um, I won't really be long on our network itself, but just so you do that, that you understand how it works, we have the core channel nodes that are here, which are the controllers of the network, which are in charge of verifying that, that the decentralized cloud works as it should. And we have the computing resource node, which are up there, that are actually doing the job, like scheduling virtual machines, storing data, etc. Um, we support multiple kinds of virtual machines on our network, as in micro virtual machine. Um, this is the serverless computing part akin to Amazon Lambda for those who know it. Um, we have the persistent virtual machine akin to like instances, what you can have on digital ocean, for example, or like Amazon EC2 instances. And what we will have coming in Q4 are the confidential uh, virtual machine, confidential computing, meaning that you have a part of the RAM that is encrypted, a CPU that is encrypted especially for you, and the storage as well. And no one can see what is happening inside this virtual machine, not even the owner of the computer. That's pretty important because when you deploy something on, on a decentralized network, you don't have guarantees. Well, you can have, but most of the time, you don't have a guarantee on who will be running your code. And if you store private keys inside, well, if they can read the private keys, then you aren't in a good shape. So confidential virtual machine will help on that end. Um, so, as I was saying, the core channel node uh, manage our database, they verify that signatures, matches, etc. And Alertime itself is not a layer one, uh, it's more like a layer zero or layer two if you prefer. Basically, we have our own set of messages and signature, et cetera, that you can sign with any kind of wallets. Like, if you have an Ethereum wallet, it works. If you have a Cosmos wallet, it works. Solana wallet, Tezos, Polkadot, any kind of EVM chain wallet, it works as well. We can also bring you data from like on-chain to like do actions on our off-chain network and from off-chain to on-chain as well, again. And, and, and so these core channel nodes are in charge of the message validation on-chain stuff. And then they verify that these guys, uh, the computing resource node, are, which, which are more akin to like Web2 technology, those are virtual machine supervisors. They are running your code inside and they are controlled by the others. So what is inside a micro VM? Like you have a cluster of, uh, of, of micro VM runners. Inside, they can run your code that has access to, to, write, to, to write the web. We, we don't require you to have a specific language to like, write your code in. It's just regular Linux virtual machine. So whatever run on Linux can run on Alive.im. So like, if you already have a centralized backend, you can run your code on our network. It will work. Uh, so now the other 
part of my talk today is about artificial intelligence. So what does it have to do with all that? Like AI is pretty heavy. Like we are talking about really big GPU. Everyone is fighting for GPU today. Uh, everyone is fighting to, to like get uh, A100, uh, GPU H100 from like Nvidia. Because since ChatGPT stuff got pretty crazy and everyone wants to be able to like run large language models. Uh, so yeah, so like, so like today we have the text generation, uh, which are large language model. Everyone knows ChatGPT, image generation. Everyone knows Midjourney, stable diffusion, etc. A bit less known uh, stuff in the AI field are text to speech, speech to text, and other actions like that. When you talk to your phone and your phone answer, that's text to speech, speech to text. And more often than not, it uses um, cloud servers to like do it. And if we are able to like decentralize this, no one can, can like understand what you are talking with with your phone or stuff like that. Ideally, it's even local, but in the meantime, it's in the cloud. So on a decentralized cloud, it's even better. So. So like, yeah, as I was saying, everyone is fighting for like, hey, 100 GPUs. But something changed in February 2023, which was Llama that has been released by Meta. Llama is an open source large language model. As is, it didn't change that much. You still needed A100 to, to, to like being able to, to like run your Llama models. But what came was quantization. Like, since people could play with it, you have had hundreds and thousands of open source developers that, uh, that like started hacking with it. It wasn't only researcher playing with large language models anymore. And then those researchers said, yeah, we can quantize those models and it can run on way smaller GPU and then even CPUs. And then we can do LoRa's. LoRa's are like fine tuning layers that you apply on your model. And you don't need huge server farms anymore. One server can handle your large language model. If one server can handle it, then it can be decentralized. And, but Llama had the problematic license, and it wasn't really usable like that because you could face a low suite. Then, then Meta re released Llama version 2, and we now even have other models uh, like Mistral, etc., that are now out. And, and the cut is out of the box. Now you can do AI on a decentralized network. So how does it work on our network? Basically, uh, the user does a request from the UI. It goes to like a load balancer that finds a computing resource node on the LS.am network on demand. And then it loads the inference engine, which is Cobalt CPP. It loads your model from, um, uh, from IPFS on the fly and it gets you a result. Um, this is some stuff to ponder. Um, here, is why, uh, here is an open source model, which is Wizard Coder 34B. And here is ChatGPT, the one that you can get on the chat. And for coding tasks, it, super, it, it like surpassed it. So the open source models are getting better than ChatGPT. Um, so like that's what I was explaining. You find a node for the user, you start inference, etc. I don't have much time. So what is next on LF.im is GPU support with fine tuning directly on a decentralized network, image generation, multimodal inference and context injection, audio, audio generation, etc. Like all the other parts of AI will be arriving on LF.im. This is done by Liberty.io. You can go and play with it yourself. Um, so Liberty.io is just a startup that is putting models on the Lev.im network. They're doing pretty well. You can use it right now today, going to chat.liberty.io, and you have a decentralized AI assistant, just like ChatGPT, where no one is logging what is happening, and you have a direct connection with the AI. So I won't enter more into details. Here is a quick demo where you can connect your wallet. The thing with connecting your wallet, why? It's not mandatory, but you, can, you will be able to like, earn tokens by chatting with the AI if you choose to like, share what you are talking it w about so that, it, uh, so, that they can learn, uh, so that they can train the next models. Uh, if you use OpenAI, 
You can't really opt out of it, and they will train their model using your interaction for free. Here you can earn money doing it, and then you can talk with it and, and like earn tokens. Right now, you can't earn tokens yet, but I think that they might do an airdrop, or I don't know. So this is alpha. <laughs> So uh, this is an API access. The site will be open. You will be able to play with it. And thank you very much for your attention today. Thank you very much, uh, Alep Payam. And I know that you would like to uh, do some, something outside, right? Yeah. yeah um, if you want outside, we like have t-shirts, stickers, and stuff like that. So like, just come and we will give you free t-shirts and stuff. Thank you, everyone.